Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to Magic 2015. My name is Luke Bow. Thank you for joining me. We are continuing on in our campaign. Going to take on Garrick next. I could not decide, however, what deck to play, so I, I built a new one. It's called Mind Control. It's mono blue. I thank you guys for all your suggestions, but in the end, I just I couldn't make a decision. It would seem unfair to pick one over the others, so I just went ahead and made a new one. Let me show you what it's all about. I haven't played Mono Blue before. I'm pretty excited about it. It's heavily control-oriented, of course. There's some mill here that could come in handy in the long run. Some flyers with Evolve, some card drawing, some counters off the card draws. I mean, some tap effects, making some more flyers, getting some spells back from the graveyard, copying creatures and bouncing creatures. Kraken, the unblockable, release the Kraken. And then uh, switching creatures and taking control. Some big flyers. There's how it breaks down. What do you guys think? I think Garrick's not going to see this one coming. I think it's going to completely dominate him. I'm pretty excited. So let's go ahead. Travel back to Zendikar for hopefully the last time. Well, I mean, I kind of hope it's the last battle. But at the same time, I'd be really bummed out if it was. Because I love playing Magic and I want to keep this going, but you know, it's got to come to an end sometime. We could always go on and play multiplayer. We're going to take on Garrick, Apex Predator. It doesn't say that here, but that is his Magic 2015 name, Apex Predator. Garrick has caught up to you at last. You have just one chance. Defeat him, bind the Hedron into him, and save yourself. The only one who's going to need saving is you, Garrick. I'm coming for you. I'm going to cut your throat. Well, that got brutal really quick there. No, we're going to just decimate this guy. The hunter has become the hunted. I don't think he was ever really hunting us in the first place, to be honest. Okay, so we have our nullify right off the bat. We play first. We have the expedition that can get us some card draw. We have plenty of land. It's a lot of land, actually, but I like, I, I like it a little bit. Just a little. Just a little. I like the chances here. I'm hoping Garrick is, is probably in green-black. That's his colors for the for this set. And I'm hoping he has a lot of green creatures on the ground. So we'll get some flyers and completely annihilate. Do we want to hang on to the Nullify? I think we want to get the Expedition out there right away. I don't think that he's going to have any two drops that are going to be that much of a threat. We did draw the Mercurial Pretender, which is awesome. We can duplicate our creatures and bounce them and have all kinds of effects going on. Nature's lore. He's going to get another forest. And I was right. Green and black. Maybe some removal, some green creatures, some big creatures. Hopefully ground-based green. Oh, wow. We've got a negate and a nullify. we got a counter on that. I'm hoping we get some something to stop whatever's going to happen. Well, we can stop it. We have negates and nullifies, so. But I want some creatures. What is it? Triumph of Ferocity. At the beginning of your upkeep, draw a card if you control the creature with the greatest power or tied for the greatest power. Hmm. And do we want that to happen? I don't think we want him to be drawing all kinds of cards. So I'm going to go ahead and say no. That is not going to happen. And he's got no other plays, so that's good. We got another land. Another land. We'll have plenty of land. Hopefully we draw like the Kraken. Oh my god, that'd be amazing if we slam that down right off the bat. Or the 6-6 six, six flyer that draws cards. Also would be incredible. And five land. What kind of big creature are you going to put in? Because I'm going to counter it. Oh, hell no. That's not happening. What is that? Hollow Henge Beast. In a world of monsters, it's the stuff of nightmares. That is pretty terrifying. Look at those jowls. I'd be... Shaking in my boots, or out. I'd be out of my boots. I'd run completely out of them. He's been feasting. But yeah, that's not gonna happen. I'm gonna spear that right in its gullet. Is that a word, gullet? I think it is. I don't know. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, we're gonna have to sack this thing and draw some cards. And hope that we get some creatures. Come on! We got the Royal Elemental, and this can this can come in as the Royal Elemental. Well, that's cool. So next turn, wow. We're going to get a 3-2 flyer, and then we're going to copy it with this. And uh, why is the land all still white? That's just... It's blinding me. 
I can't really see what's going on. If you could just turn down the lights. Can we can we get the house lights dimmed a little bit? Anyone? Apparently my counter of that's yeah, there's another hollow henge beast. Apparently countering that spell just completely broke it. And we have this going on. Okay, Paragon, that's cool. Well, we're gonna go ahead, I suppose, and just put the Royal Elemental out there already. To combat anything he puts out. I'm just going to keep putting out lands and stealing his creatures. Hopefully. That's what we're going to do. As long as he doesn't just murder this thing. Don't murder it. Please don't murder it. You can hit us for five this turn, but not next time. I'll give you this one time to chomp at me. Just a little nibble. And thank you, whoever turned down the lights there. That's I appreciate that. Okay, wow, we could we could have this guy come out and copy that and then put a land in, right? And then gain control. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, boy. We are going to go ahead and copy the Royal Elemental. Woo! -hoo. So we got two 3-2 three, two flyers. And I'll be taking that. Either one of you can take it. It doesn't... Uh, that one. <laughs> both of us both of us are taking we're, we're greedy we want that that's amazing and we got lands we're just anything anything Gareth puts down right now we can just outright steal I love it this is what I was hoping for just completely just blow his mind control the game we got the paragon that's gonna come out and can give plus one plus one to our flyers yeah, put in another one of those beasts. I need me another one. I don't have enough. One's not enough for me. Oh, well, we better put in the Cloudfin Raptor. And the Paragon. To go ahead and evolve the Cloudfin Raptor. And give it plus one, plus one. And buff these guys. And now we'll, we'll go ahead and we'll put in an island. And I'd like to take this. I'm going to take this beast if you don't mind. Ah, let's take it with both of them. <laughs> Yoinks, thanks, buddy. I appreciate it. Oh my god, guys, we were just crushing, and now we're swinging for 13. Just patience. Patience is all we needed for this one. How's it feel to get bit by your own creature? It's biting the hand that feeds. Garrett can't control the pack anymore. And we got a jellyfish. Well, why not? Let's go ahead and put the jellyfish out there. It will still evolve that because this guy is buffing it, and it's technically it was technically still a uh, was it a one two? So that did evolve it. That's awesome. Um, we can just we don't need to put it in the island to gain control of anything we just swing for a massive amount does Garrick have a fog can he stop the damage or will he succumb to the royal royal the royal elementals are just doing the damage oh my god negative 14 and the paragon gets the final slice to the nuts negative 19 Take that, Garrick, in your face. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, come on. Did he just ax me in the face? Garrick has drawn on the power of the curse, and he rises to face you again. Defeat the World Slayer. What? Come Oh, come on. Look at him now. Looking pretty gnarly there. Dude, you gonna be okay? You should probably see a doctor. Well, that sucks. That sucks that he just does that right off the bat. Like, doesn't... Just just admit defeat, Garrick. Come on. Okay, he plays first. We have two islands. Oh, man. Only two islands. But we do have the Hedron Crabs, which, you know, could start milling him crazily. And it would be pretty awesome. We have the Quickling. I just wish we had a little bit more land.
I'm... Uh, man, I don't know. I don't know. It seems risky to get up get up that far without, without the land. We are on the draw, but... Tough decisions, tough decisions. I mean, we'd be milling six every turn, and that would add up really quickly, but we got to draw the land, and I don't know. I, th I think we got to draw a new hand and, and hope for some some removal to counter him and everything. Let's let's go ahead and draw a new hand. Okay, well, we, we're looking a little bit better here. I like this a little bit better. We have a defender that doesn't can't be dealt combat damage. Um, we have some card draw. We have our card draw here, and we have our counter. So let's go ahead and keep this. This is looking good. Oh boy, we're taking on the World Slayer. I thought we had it. I thought we were done. We just completely annihilated him. I was feeling pretty good about that, and now I think... I think Garrick might get the last laugh here. He is, after all, called the World Slayer. That's going to be tough to top. I'm just the mentor. Rampant growth. Perfect. Perfect. So he's going to be ramping up. Already at three. That's not good. Well, we can start milling some cards. Man, I would love... I, I kind of love to put this out and start getting some quest counters on it to draw some cards. But I'd also like to hang on to this nullify. Because he's ramping. Do you think he'll ramp one more turn? Or... Put in something on this turn. Because then next time we have the jellyfish that can prevent all combat damage. That can be dealt to it unless it gets, you know, zapped. But we might be able to just put in the expedition and draw some cards. And then we've got the inspiration later. I don't know. Oh my god, I don't know, guys. Let's go ahead and pass. Let's... Ah, oh, Julius, is that what we want to do? Do we want to pass? Or do we want to get this expedition down so that we can maybe draw cards in a little bit? I think we have to because we're going to want... Yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Let's go ahead and do it. Because we're, we're going to want to utilize all the lands we can and get that as soon as we can. So. I hope that was the right decision. He put in a tap guild gate. That's a good sign. He's going to cultivate, get some land in his hand and onto the battlefield. So, we'll get one more island, uh, make him mill some cards. I'm going to stop the timer. I We should we should take a look here and see what's happening. Garrick's pack leader. Uh, oh, wow, we got a lot of his rampant growth and cultivate, so that's probably a good thing. Target creature gets plus two, plus two until the end of turn, and another target creature gets minus two, minus two. So it's good to get rid of that, too. Oh, my God. Look at that. Oh, wow. He's just sucking his brains out. That's crazy. Ripping his arm off. Dude, I don't think... Are you going to be okay? You should probably see a doctor. Okay, so that's what we've done so far to his... To his graveyard. Um, we're going to get a counter on this. We could put the jellyfish out, but I think at this point we just want to hang on to the nullify and the negate. Because he's got a lot out there. We can't really attack with the crab. I mean, we could, but it's not going to do any damage. It isn't a defender, and that's kind of surprising. Garrick's pack leader. I don't think so. I would like to stop the timer. Will you let me stop the timer? That's not going to happen. That is definitely not going to happen. Don't want any card draw happening. All right, we got another land. Perfect. Why don't you go ahead and mill three more cards? We get another quest counter. Let's see what we got rid of. Oh, we got rid of a putrefy. Destroy target artifact or creature, it can't be regenerated. Um, well, that's 
That's good that we got rid of that, too, and we got rid of a couple more lands. Um, man, he's lost a lot of ramp and a lot of lands to that. The graveyard. Um, inspiration is instant. Negate is instant, so we can pass the turn. We don't need to play the jellyfish. We can go ahead and negate if he tries to ramp or do anything crazy. Or we can just use inspiration to draw some cards at the end of his turn. What's it going to be, Garrick? What are you going to do? Dark Hatchling. Flying whenever Dark Hatchling enters the battlefield, destroy target non-black creature. It cannot be regenerated. Oh my god. Oh, wow. Oh, Jesus. Look at that thing. That dude just got eaten alive. It looks like it's bursting from his chest. Oh, well, I guess it's a hatchling. Ugh. It's like an alien. There's a chest burster. So 3-3 three, three flying horror. That's not good. And it's going to destroy our crab. Man. That sucks. Well, I'm going to draw some cards just just because. No, I'm not going to let Garrick draw some cards. Oh, that quickling would have been nice to bounce that crab in response to that. That's that's too bad, but we do have the jellyfish, so that's good. We, then we'll be able to s draw two more cards. I think we should do that right now. We've got another negate and another land. So we can go ahead and put this in. We have the negates available. We have the quickling available. This guy's not going to be able to get through. We can block all that damage. We're sitting pretty. We're sitting pretty here. Oh, you're not going to get the best of us, World Slayer. We have the soul of Ravnica that can come down pretty soon. Dark Hatchling. Oh, it's going to try and destroy that. We're not going to let that happen. We, we don't want that to happen. We're going to have to bounce it. I definitely don't want to lose those guys. Yeah, you can swing for three now, but those jellyfish are just too handy, I think, to let go. Man. It's so tempting to put that guy out, but I don't think that's going to be the good option without without the land open to negate a, like a, a d destruction spell or something. I also kind of don't want to put both of these out because what if he destroys one? But at the same time, I kind of do. So I want to keep taking damage. Oh, tough decisions. I think we might need to hang on to the negate just to just in case. But I really don't want to be taking three damage because some some big stuff's gonna be coming down. I think. Also want that solar. Well, you know what? Let's put them both out. If he if he burns a kill spell on one of these things, we have the solar Ravnica. So that's that might work out. Go ahead and block both of them. So no damage gets through. And taps down his flyers for no reason. Puts in a child of night. So now we can attack through the air. Rampant growth is going to happen because I can't negate that. Bummer. That's okay. That might be okay. Three negates now. Oh my gosh. If I had one more land, I'd feel really comfortable putting in this Soul of Ravnica. What do you guys think? Do we do we risk it? Do we put it in right now? Or do we hang on for one more land and hope a negate? counters whatever he's got going on 
Because this can start drawing us cards, too, next turn. You know what? Oh, man. This is just awful, awful decision to make here, I think. I really wish we had drawn a land. I don't know. I don't know. If that soul Ravnica gets burned, I'm going to be really bummed out. But I kind of want to put it in. Let's take a look. Because we know he's got Putrefies. Um, we know he's got this creature. God, really anything could happen at this point. I don't know. Anything could happen to kill the soul of Ravnica. I really want get that in to start start drawing some cards let's wait one more turn let's wait one more turn if we don't draw the land or if we don't use this negate I think we got to put the solar Ravnica in go ahead and lock this down you're not getting through you're not getting through dark hatchling Cultivate. Um, we might as well negate it. Cause he's gonna, yeah. There we go. Okay, cool. He's got. An, oh wow, another, another jellyfish to block things down. Um, let's go ahead and put that in. I know I did that before combat, but that's okay. Now we can go ahead and swing away with our flyer, since we got three of these guys holding down the fort. And two negates. In get no, no, in Garrick's wake, destroy all creatures you don't control and all planeswalkers you don't control. That is not gonna happen. Beyond pain, beyond obsession, and wild despair. There lies a place of twisted power only the most tormented souls can reach. And it's not gonna happen. Negate! Denied! You do not get to wipe the board. You do not get to wipe my board. Now I'm really glad I did not put the soul of Ravnica out there. Oh my god. Okay. We got another dissolve spell and a negate. A dissolve can do anything, so I think... I think we pass the turn again. We really need that other land. And we definitely don't want... We definitely don't want anything like that happening again. I don't know how many of those he's got in the deck, but probably four, because he's the World Slayer. Please don't do that again. I can only negate that so many times. Putrid Leech. Pay two life, Putrid Leech gets plus two, plus two. Activate this ability only once per turn. That's a disgusting little leech. This is a zombie leech. He's got mouths everywhere. He's all gooey. He's sliming things up. Ugh, that's a terrible house pet. You would not want that. Now, the question is, do we counter it? Yeah, I mean, because we could counter it, and then we could we could scry and see what, we, see what we're going to draw next. But what, I mean... What if we we're drawing a land like we need? We're, but there's really nothing. There's no threat with that leech. Let's let's let that happen. If he wants to, you know, there's the land we need. Okay, so that happens. Um. Now we can play the the soul of Ravnica, and still have the negate. Now I like the odds right here. All flyers on the board. What are you going to do, Garrick? 
got like a wipe all flyers card or something. That would really suck. You're not seriously thinking about attacking, okay. I was gonna say, seriously, not gonna happen. You're not bluffing me with a combat trick. I don't think you have them. Other than that, plus two, plus two, minus two, minus two, but. What is this? Spirit monger. Whenever spirit monger deals damage to a creature, put a plus one, plus one counter on spirit monger. Regenerate it. And that makes it become, it's a six, six, oh my God. Oh no, and I don't have the enough for the, oh man. Why didn't I wait? I could have waited even longer. Well, the good thing about that is these jellyfish can continually block it down and it won't deal combat damage to the creature. So it won't get the counters. So that's one good thing about that. But that is a scary creature right now. What is this now? Putrefy? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. No. Negate. You're not getting rid of my soul of Ravnica. It's not happening. Okay. Whew. That was crazy. It sucks because there's still these these three three flyers out there. I think we just put out the Cloudfin Raptor and hang on to this dissolve. Because we can't, I mean, we could swing with these two, but he's just going to double block the soul of Ravnica, and I don't want that to happen. Just to get two damage through and then get rid of all his flyers, so. There's got to be a better way. And then if we don't use the counter at the end of his turn, we can always draw an extra card. So that's, that's a plus. Now he's top decking. Let's see what he's got. No, no, that's not another spirit monitor. I like the look of that card, but I don't like it enough to let two of them onto the board. Do we really want that land? I don't think so. Put that on the bottom so that we can draw something worthwhile. We have eight land. We have everything we need, especially if we get that Kraken, we can slam that Kraken down and be like, release the Kraken. I hope we get to do that. Nah, just another Cloudfin Raptor. Well, that's, you know, something. Not the best thing in the world, but it is a Cloudfin Raptor. If we can get anything else out and start evolving it, then we're good. Alright, World Slayer. Now, what crazy card did you pull I swear to god if you in Garrick wake right now I'm gonna just I'm gonna flip this desk if that happens he's thinking about it he's like I don't know do I want to destroy the world I don't okay well then we're gonna draw a card and it's just an island but that's okay there's a quickling. Perfect. Because now we can bounce something if we need to. And um, evolve this. We can actually we can just bounce the quickling back. And then do it again. And we could evolve this a couple times. That would be kind of cool. Um, you know, we've used, we've used three negates, right? I think... There's one more in the deck. It's, I'm almost tempted to keep that mana open to draw the card, and then eh, maybe we draw the negate, you know? So let's pass. Uh, because this has flash, so we can keep bouncing it back to our turn. If we need to, at the end of his turn, we can bounce it a couple times and evolve this. Or we could draw a card in response to him doing something. And maybe hope we get the final negate. Um, oh, putrefy. Well, we got the quickling, so he's going for it. He's going to try it. Um, 
I think before, let's see, we want to do the quickling and then we want to trigger the draw card. So let's do that. So then we'll get to draw a card. Those will evolve. That trigger. Oh no, is it gonna let me do it? Ah, damn you! Because I, I wanted it to, I, I should have done it right when that was triggering. I should have paused it and done it. That was my bad. Oh, so, so many triggers. So much stack. That sucks. It's not the one I wanted to bounce either because I wanted to keep the option open to bounce other things. Another land comes into play. It's always good to have. He drawn crab. Um, I guess we put the soul of Ravnica back out there. Now it'll evolve those two. We may as well put the Hedron Crab out there as well. There's no point in him not being out there. If he's got 27 cards left, we need nine more lands. We can wipe him out. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Now it's tempting to swing with this because if we can clear off these two, we have eight through the air. That's a pretty quick turn. I'm really bummed out I didn't get to draw that card on that Solar Ravnica. That might make a difference. You got nothing. Just pass the turn. Thank you. Quit stalling. Okay, good. We got a counter spell. Oh, now I feel pretty good about that. I think at this point, I, lo I love card drawn with the Soul of Ravnica. But I think at this point, we start attacking with it and try to get these off the board and, and start hitting, hitting hard. What do you guys think? Garrick has stalled long enough, I think, so. I'm gonna do it. I'm going for it. Let's do it. If he wants to double block, I'm more than welcome to take out both his creatures. I will, I will do it. It's gonna happen. I mean, we could draw a card off of it, but I kind of want this, so. If we had 10 land, it'd be perfect. All that work to protect the soul of Ravnica. Just to sacrifice it. To take out his two flyers. But now we have eight power through the air. Possibly more if we can um, evolve this a little bit more. We have the ability to exile this and draw a card. We also have the counter. Lots of good things happening here. Can't get through because we got the jellyfish. Let's see what's at. Let's see what. Okay, just that. It's coming in. It's not even. It's not letting me stop the timer. So I don't know why. Um, just gonna exile that and draw a card right now. Excellent. Another flyer that can tap his creatures down. And the Archaeomancer. are awesome. We can get something back. I think we. Ooh. Ooh, we could get the inspiration back, but we could also get the, the dissolve back, and I think that's what we want more than anything. For sure. For sure. That's what we're going to do. So we're going to go ahead and swing with all our flyers for eight. Garrick, your world is about to be slain. suck the life out of him. I will cleanse you of your vile curse. That was awesome. Get the Archaeomancer out there. We'll pick up our other Dissolve. 
since that has no stipulations about creature or non-creature spell. We just target anything outright. That's perfect. We want to hold the mana back for that. So the Niblis just gets to stay there for now. You got one card, but whatever it is, I'm dissolving it. Yep, Garrick's pack, leader. That's nah, not going to happen. See ya. Uh, we don't need land. Let's put it on the bottom. Garrick's like, damn it. Garrick's mind blown. Oh, man. Feeling good about this, guys. Oh, wow. Royal Elemental. Awesome. Awesome. We can put it out there and we still have the Dissolve even. Which is fantastic. Let's do that because... Oh, oh, oh! Oh, that's it! Because it evolves these guys. It is a 3-2. I was kind of dyslexically reading it backwards there. But that that's it. That should be it. That's all we need. Should be 10 damage through the air now. Here we go. This could be it. Oh, this is it. He's got no cards in hand. He's got no creatures to block the flyers. As I suspected. We're taking Garrick down. This is it. The final two damage. Yes! In your face! Oh my god, well fought battle. That was insane. This deck rules. This is why I love mono blue. This is why I like playing control. Oh, listen to that sweet music of victory. He only got three damage through to us that whole game. Despite the threats. The jellyfish held him off. We countered. That solo Ravnica did some work. Drawn some cards and oh, it was good. We... We did it. Now let's see what our reward is. We've unlocked an achievement. We got the title of the savior and a persona. That guy. Well, that's cool. I like the I like that. The savior. It's finally we got I think that's the third title we've gotten out of that's it. The whole game. Now what? Bind the Hedron into it. Its magic will do the rest. You did all right, Planeswalker. I wasn't sure you could pull it off. But you did it. I still don't know why we are the way we are. Or what the spark means for each of us. But using our power to save a plane from destruction isn't a bad start. Oh, there's that tasty fruit again. It's not so corrupt anymore. That's it? That's it? We s okay, well, we saved... We saved Zendikar from destruction. I was kind of expecting Jace to, like, turn and be like, well, I'm gonna take this. I know Jace has always been kind of a good guy, but as far as I remember. But that would have been a cool twist if he was like, <laughs> thanks for ridding the curse from Garrick. I'll be taking this veil and I'll see you next game, you know? So we get treated to some credits and some epic music and uh, some sexy vixens. And a giant frog. Oh my god. It's terrifying. I think that's it. I don't think it's gonna, gonna do anything else other than do credits. So let's go back. Well, that figures. Okay. So. Oh, who, who is that? I know that face. I know that face. I can't think of who it is right now. So, we saved Garrick from the curse, but a demon has rose in his wake. That's kind of cool. I was hoping that they would have a twist on that there at the end. That was a nice touch. So, all this magic led up to this. We did save 
the plane of Zendikar. We saved all the planes, really, because if, if Garrick took out Zendikar, then he would probably just keep going and wiping everything else out. So we have done it. We, have, we are victorious. Now, that's going to do it for the single-player part of this game. I'm going to take a look at everything else, all the other options of things that we can do, and maybe we'll have some more magic. Um, maybe we'll build some more decks, unlock some more cards. Um, I'll have to take a look at my card collection and see what I have and see if I want to keep going and, and collecting cards. Or we take this online, we can take on some people face-to-face. -face. If you guys have Magic 2015, let me know on Steam. Um, and let me know on YouTube, and maybe we'll get together sometime, on probably on the weekends. And maybe we could play some games against each other in the community. That would be a lot of fun. Let me know what you guys want to see. If you want to see more Magic, I'm more than willing to go play one of the other Magic games as well. We never did finish off the first one, and I own all of them. So, I, I wouldn't mind going through and playing through all the Magic games. If you guys want more Magic, let me know. I have lots of it. We can, we can do lots of Magic. And I also think that there will be other types of Magic videos going up. Maybe on my channel, I'd like to talk some Magic strategy and some... Some draft strategy and things like that, especially when the new set comes out. I'm, I'm getting a lot. I'm getting back into magic a lot. So this has been quite a journey. I want to thank you guys again for coming along this whole time. We're well up over 50 episodes of magic and I hope you enjoyed it. I had a blast playing through magic. This game can be a little frustrating at times and I don't think it's the best magic game that has been released for console or PC. The, the best digital means of magic. Um, it's, it's just a little bit buggy right now. There's some things that bug me with the controls and it seems like it's a little unforgiving at times or it's just, um, completely too easy. It depends. We had, we had some good matches, but it was really hit or miss. Um, and in a digital game, I, when you're playing AI opponents, I think they could really refine that to make it more of a challenge or, or not as much as of uh, we steamroll right through you know uh that being said uh i'm gonna take off for now and i'm gonna see what else magic has to offer us maybe you'll see some more magic videos in the future again thank you from the bottom of my heart for sticking it out through this whole playthrough i really hope you enjoyed it i had a blast i will see you guys either next time for more magic or next time for the next game take care <laughs>